some people out there might be wanting to know because there was a lot of rumors going around exactly what uh, uh, Richard, were, well, you know, why does, is he dead? Does he rap? And I would comment and say that, uh, no, he's not dead. He just don't rap because of a lot of different reasons. And I just wanted to uh, verify that if, uh, if um, Lewis could say anything about his brother, you know, and uh, last time he talked to him and things like that. Because I couldn't get him. I, actually, we tried talking to him, talking to him several years ago. Was that, was that right? Remember several years ago? And he didn't want to. He don't want to do music no more. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him explain a little more about that. Well, what my brother did is that he did what a lot of artists do, except some artists just do it uh, slightly, you know, less than he did. He got messed up on drugs. And we're not gonna deny what's the what the real truth is. He's not dead. He's just he's just off. Off in, off in the ditch really because of drugs and drugs messed up his brain and he's just not able to rap anymore and that's a sad reality but you know that's what this wicked world is bringing that's what this wicked world is bringing is drugs and violence and all of this stuff you know and we don't want to glorify that kind of stuff we want to glorify God and so you know if, if you know if my brother doing drugs and people understanding that his brain is messed up because of those drugs, if that brings more people off of drugs and say, hey, I don't want to do that anymore because I don't want to mess up my brain, then hey, that's 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 the message I want to get across as far as my brother, you know, that's what happened to him. He just ended up getting too much involved into the drugs and it messed up his brain and it messed up his talent and it messed up his skill. Yeah, that's, uh, you heard it from his brother there and, uh, I kind of knew that too, and um, and there's a lot of responsibility that I have that I feel on my shoulder because of that. Because when we were doing the, the album, the Spanish Fly stuff, we started actually experimenting with marijuana, with with weed, smoking weed every single day, all day, and then that led to uh, primos and uh, doing LSD and uh, and a lot of other sorts of things. And um, you know, we were best friends when we were doing the album and stuff, but. Somewhere along the line, he kind of drew, I guess, away from me, hanging around with the wrong crowd. It's funny because when he was writing the lyrics for songs like 18 with the Bullet and Dope's Got a Hold on Me and The Dealer and Take Him to the Streets. You know what, man? I'm going to say something, man, that I've been dying to say, man, for a long time. Do, do. 